I'm at SCTE 2022 in Philadelphia. With me is Jeevathan Mutu at Incognito, Director of Product Management. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, thank you. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little about your booth and what you have showcased here today? For sure, for sure. So uh, we are an OSS vendor, so we provide uh, solutions uh, uh, for provisioning and management uh, in various different access technologies from DOCSIS to fiber. Um, we also do uh, telemetry and analytic solutions as well. We also have our TR069, uh, TR369 product suite uh, for device management. So we have a full full stack solution here that we are demonstrating. And, and how is Incognito helping with the transition and acceleration to next gen fiber and 5G networks? See, when it comes to accelerating uh, the transition towards next-gen fiber uh, as well as 5G networks, uh, there are multiple things need to be considered. But from an OSS standpoint, uh, what we see is that there's a greater need for automation and automation uh, about around uh, new services and management of new services. And this is across multiple network technologies. Um, secondly, uh, what we see is that the service providers need to uh, centralize the operations, taking advantage of multi-vendor environments uh, and uh, having solutions uh, tapping into closed loop automations so that they are able to uh, troubleshoot issues uh, ahead of time and then be able to uh, use closed loop processes to automatically resolve issues as well. So if you extend that a little bit, it would also require having uh, an aggregated view of your network and all your devices um, using closed, um, as I mentioned, closed loop automation, yeah. root cost analysis, um, to in order to achieve uh, achieve some of those things. So these are steps that are required uh, for someone to accelerate the transition towards 5G and uh, next generation uh, fiber. So what are the key points that service providers need to focus on to deliver a more customer centric automated network? Uh, so that's a very good question. The industry has achieved remarkable results when it comes to delivering high bit rates to the premises. So what we see today is that service providers shifting their focus towards broadband performance and quality. Uh, in order to achieve, uh, achieve that, uh, what is important is to be able to have a real-time, uh, comprehensive view of the uh, network-wide performance. Uh, secondly, having insights into the subscriber's experience. So and the key here is the consistent subscriber experience. So not just the size of the pipe, but also uh, the consistency in which you are able to deliver the services. So latency comes into, into picture as well. Uh, thirdly, in terms of uh, automated network, it is important to focus on alarm monitoring and fault management so that service providers are able to identify when, where an issue happens and uh, use uh, automation and the closed loop uh, processes to resolve issues. Uh, thirdly, it's about multi-vendor environments. Today we see multi-vendor environment is the norm. So picking an OSS solution that thrives in a multi-vendor environment so that you are able to cut down your provisioning, onboarding, and deployment times as well. So I would say those are key things when it comes to building an automated customer-centric network. So moving, you know, we can't not talk about the pandemic. You know, how has this really affected service providers and the challenges that they face in monetizing their networks during this time and afterwards? Right, so you see prior to the pandemic, uh, there was a lot of emphasis in terms of uh, reaching ever higher speeds. But post pandemic, our ultra connected always on lifestyle demands so much more. Uh, so the QOE or the quality of experience can no longer be ignored. Uh, what we see is that the subscribers uh, expect an impeccable QOE uh, on all the devices at all times. Uh, so the uh, the silver lining here is that this also brings up new opportunities for operators to monetize the network. We see new focus uh, for, uh, from the operator side to offer superior quality of service and also higher ARPU generating services as well. Uh, service providers need to be able to tap into the next generation connect at home. So this is about offering smart home services, whether that is, you know, Wi-Fi optimization, uh, better management of the connected devices and so on. So that's, a, that's a, another shift that we are seeing as well. Um, and lastly, the proactive aspect. So being able to proactively monitor the quality of experience is also crucial for service providers. So what are some of the key drivers that you're seeing for network performance as well as extending the life of DOCSIS technology? There are a number of things happening on the DOCSIS front. Uh, we see uh, an increased demand for MAP-T 
uh, on uh, IPv6 uh, DHCP configuration. MAP-T, as you may know, uh, it uh, stands for Mapping of Address and Port Translation. It's a lower cost alternative to CGNAT. MAP-T enables operators to extend the life of IPv4 and the investment in IPv4 while it prepares them to deploy IPv6 in, at large scale. Um, in contrast to CGNAT, uh, uh, which is more hardware intensive, MAPT offers uh, 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 stateless translation of IPv6 v4 uh, uh, address spaces, uh, and it's uh, much more cost effective. Second one is the DOCSIS 4.0, mm -hmm. uh, and it's support for 10G and low latency services, which are crucial for gaming applications as well as enterprise applications. Um, thirdly, it's about uh, distributed access architecture. There are a number of different options that are available from an incognito product perspective. We do support uh, various different options. Uh, and uh, finally, it's uh, the uh, prevention of uh, theft of service and increased uh, security. This is uh, something that we continue to see a lot of attention being paid for. And uh, we have services that, uh, solutions that address this uh, market as well. So over the past few years, we've seen growth in the number of in-home services and the growth of in-home networks. How is Incognito using open standards to create value-added services? Uh, that's a very good question also. Uh, the industry standards and open frameworks like TR369 are vital to the success of service providers because they cut down on technical barriers and they enable their teams to develop value-added services that their customers demand. Uh, I would say Incognito is on the cutting edge of uh, technology when it comes to TR369 adoption, uh, working with our uh, leading uh, operator customers and uh, industry groups as well as device vendor communities. Uh, in fact, we won uh, a number of awards. We secured uh, two awards here at the SCTE show, the BTR Diamond Awards, uh, and one award uh, last week at the uh, IBC in Amsterdam for our digital experience solution, which is a unified platform that combines both TR369 as well as TR069 for device management, device provisioning, and telemetry of uh, uh, telemetry collection from devices. Um, and, and in terms of the smart home services, we actually partner with a number of application providers and device vendors, enabling service providers to uh, offer smart home services uh, such as tailoring uh, tailored network for in-home. So tailored network means that you know, you're able to prioritize the in-home Wi-Fi for work from home, work from home users or for uh, users that are more into gaming applications. Uh, you can uh, uh, have end-to-end in-home network security applications. So sky is the limit when it comes to the different type of smart home services that you could offer. And we are able to, we're very proud to say that, you know, we have an award-winning solution that is able to offer that uh, help for service providers. Well, it's an impressive list of uh, awards and absolutely the sky's the limit. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for taking your time as well.